All right, we're back for episode two of the Return to Monkey podcast, the 2024 so, season. It's uh, once again your host, Champ, with, along with co host Ishan and Ashvin. Uh, we got a very special guest today. We got Jack on the pod. How are you doing, Jack? Doing well. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks for coming. And uh, Ishan, Ashvin, how are you guys doing? Doing amazing. I'm doing very well. How about you? I'm doing, uh, doing well. Would you like to tell our viewers what you were just doing before this, Ashvin? I uh, showered and then I'm gonna have food. Okay. Would you like to share what you're eating? Mm. I'm eating uh, pasta and chicken, and if you can hear it in my mouth right now, and then I'm also having a protein shake. Can you can you send me a photo so we can get it in the uh, the pod? Yeah, definitely. All right, sounds good. Anyway, so without further ado, I guess we'll uh, move on to today's agenda. So, first and foremost, gentlemen, how do we feel uh, about week one? How do we feel about uh, each other's teams? Who who do you guys think got worse? Who do you guys think got better? Are we talking about teams right now? Or are we talking about actual players? Teams, just teams in general. Teams. No, I don't game? think like like fantasy teams. Yeah, fantasy like teams. Fantasy teams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we can we can talk about Terrence's team. Let's just get get out of the way. All right. What do you yeah. have to say about his team? <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the McCaffrey, you know. Oh yeah. That that's tough. That's tough. He, uh, you know, maybe 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 it's because of me. I'm I'm harnessing too much black magic. Um, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just 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 random luck. But yeah, that that's not a good luck for Terrence. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't, want to, don't want to sugarcoat it. But yeah, I saw something that there's never been any sort of uh, call it any sort of like out like this on a Monday night from someone that was like the first overall pick. So this is kind of unprecedented territory in terms of that. And of course, Andrew has him, so that's less than mm-hmm. ideal. Andrew has Mason. Andrew has Mason. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, drafting somebody with a calf injury at the one-one position is uh, a tough look, and we're seeing that play out now. Um, Another thing, no one mentioned that, and but yeah, he had always had a calf injury. And I guess no one took it into account. Yeah. They were saying, doesn't he have something else too? Is it like oh a yeah, hand Achilles, 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 uh, Achilles tendonitis, and he's how old? Someone yeah. look it up quickly. He's at least 29, 20. I mean, none of us are doctors. If we had Lucas or Vischer here, we could get a you know, <laughs> right, an yeah. opinion. Get him <laughs> no, on the show next time. Better. I don't know he's old. Yeah. He's twenty eight. Yeah, it's not. He's not a young young buck. I don't yeah. spring chicken anymore. Yeah, you can cut to Lucas giving us a tendonitis breakdown for the Achilles. Yeah, must see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any anyone else you guys think got noticeably worse from week one? All right, let me pull up the fantasy. Uh, yeah, I I mean, looking at Jared's team, I I think he's looking pretty rough after week one at the wide receiver position. Yes. Also. Yeah. My own team is looking pretty terrible as well. My top performer was Jaden Reed. And although he looked really good, I feel like that was a little bit fluky. And then Jordan Love goes down. It's just not a lot of depth in this league. It's, it's really tough. And we'll get to the waivers later on, but it, it was pretty thin. So I'm not yeah. super stoked yeah. about my own position either. I think we can all agree, Jared's receivers are looking a little scary, but not in a good way. They're getting, yeah. they're looking scared. Shout, shout to scared as Terrence. Yeah, looking a little scared on the rust. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of yeah. Scarens, Terrence, so Daniels looked good, but I think it came at the expense of McLaurin because he wasn't looking more than 10 yards down the field. So mm-hmm. I, I hope that turns around for my own quarterback's sake, but I guess we'll see for that. And then who else does Jared have at receiver? Devontae Smith will be fine, and then Keon Coleman and Ridley. Ridley? It's just it's just like a whole, a whole squad yeah. of some mid-receivers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like Ridley, but yeah. Titans just will Le- Levis. Just yeah, will Levis on his knees at the game. Yeah, that's evil work. Like... I just want to give oh. one uh, one team I think got worse, and then we can move on to teams who got better. I think, <laughs> sorry, Jules, I think your team got worse because of injuries yeah. again. I was just going to say that, that, but that's that's out of her control. Really. Yeah, Pookie. it's just unlucky. Yeah. Pookie Bear got hurt. That's sad for everyone. To I, be she has the Marcus yeah. I went to go pick him up, and then I saw she had him. That is true. She picked him up before the week. That was a big brain move right there. Yeah. Hmm? He predicted. He knew who he was going down. Yeah, and we got number one cup cup super fan over here, Nishan. Yeah. That has worked out, kind of, but very sad to see. Maybe it doesn't work out because of all the the targets that he's going to get and being a 31-year-old guy, maybe not trying to jinx anything, but you never know what can happen in this league. Tyler Johnson season. 
Kyler Drake. Well, I mean, a few other wide receivers. There. According to Ashton, it's it might be a uh, Colby Parkinson season. <laughs> no, I told Andrew that Colby Parkinson was the tight end seven on the week. Stop sleeping. That's what I said. I will yeah. continue to sleep. Yeah. But no one picked him up. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, if yeah. I think we're just there. limited. <laughs> Oh, and Jawan Johnson, tight end four. I'm looking no, at don't it. even don't Foster say Moreau, tight end two. Shigu Kaku, tight end six. Come on, guys. We're, we're, we're sleeping on the way. I think we're sleeping, sleeping on that. Yeah, right. I think we need like six more bench spots, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so moving on, what teams do you guys think uh, looked better from preseason to week one? Mm. Besides my team, of course. I'll go ahead and start this one off. I think the three of you guys, your, all three of your teams look, look better after week one. I'm pretty impressed. There's some depth all across think, the board. I think Andrews, to be honest, just because of the, like, Kenneth Walker's, what do you call it, oblique injuries coming back, and he kind of got messed up last year when I had him because of mm-hmm. that. And he has Charbonnet, of course, and then CMC has tendonitis or whatever, and he has made So that's two potential top ten in the main guy. Andrew, does. Andrew might be in the running for the GOAT bench because that bench could, like, possibly be a very mid-starting lineup, so... I mean, I also got a uh, Thomas and JMO look pretty good week one. Yeah, here's yeah, the, yeah. I, I mean, I'm gonna need one of those guys. But, uh, yeah, like your bench guys well. look better than like London and Adams. Like in yeah. terms of not just because of week one, but like I look like hey, they look promising. Don't forget Carson Steel, bro. He's still loading. Carson Steel, <laughs> yeah, I think he can load I mean, long We're long. all still scared of that draft pick. <laughs> yeah, just wait, just wait. Well, yeah, looking at one, Keenan Mitchell. Oh my god. I'm kicking yeah. myself too because Ishan offered me a trade, Bucky Irving for Braylon Allen, and I oh, yeah. said no. And now it looks like I made a huge mistake. Wait, you did uh, that before the season started? Uh, before like, the season, like Why? a week oh, and a half ago. Then you guys would have Bruce. handcuffs. You guys yeah. would have yeah, uh, yeah, handcuffs. Uh, Dude, I wanted Bucky yeah. Irving, and I was like, no way, someone already picked him up, and I yeah, checked, and the fucking Ishan has him. Yeah, <laughs> Ishan has the three main. That is one thing I was gonna say. Ishan has the three like main young. Uh, handcuff guys that are like the three best, honestly. Right, Irving and Bigsby. Maybe uh, what's his name? Steel. Who? Steel. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What was I gonna say before? I was. I don't. I don't remember honestly. Let me look. Who? Oh, um, the backup for the Cardinals. What's his name? Benson. 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 Benson yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, moving on to your team, Ashwin. You want to talk up your guy? Uh... Who? You got Rice? I mean, you really? I know you really had Rice. Oh, Rashi Rice, yeah. Outside of how good he is as a person, dude, he's looking nice. He's looking real nice. Um, I'm happy with the, his targets. It was like nine targets. He's like the new Michael Thomas, honestly. He just runs a slant, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that was a great pick. I think we all, everyone's all right, then. just watching. Yeah, that's great. Uh, just moving on. Uh, Yishan, would you like to give a quick thanks to our sponsors of this podcast? Yeah. Well, we'll do one more again. We shouted them out last week, but uh, this week too. Um, big thank you to Samuel Adams for sponsoring this podcast. Whenever you want to make an important life decision, whether it's um, paying off your kid's tuition, um, proposing to your um, wife or husband or they, them, or, you know, whatever, partner, whatever you partner. deem is important, partner, partner, mm-hmm. whatever you uh, deem as important, make sure that you have the Samuel Adams within three feet of you. And uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Sammy Allen, for sponsoring us. All right. Anyway, so moving on. Right. Injuries. Uh, what do you guys think is the most, aside from CMC, most consequential injury of week one so far? Yeah, I mean, Puka. I mean, we've already talked about him. Um, is pretty big just because of the uh, the draft the draft capital used there. Um, so that that's that would probably be my pick. I know there are probably a smaller nicks and bangs that we just talked about with Ken Walker, um, but I think I think everything else is pretty pretty minor. We have Jordan Love going down, which is kind of a big blow to all of those like different receivers. So I'm not sure if anyone else wants to call it a few others. Well, I yeah. guess uh, just before we move on from Puka, do we uh, do you, do you remember Jules's reaction when the uh, Puka to IR hit the news, Jack? Uh, yeah, well, she, funny story. She actually looked at her team today and then saw that he was out and oh, on IR. And uh, she also found out that she lost today, too. She didn't realize that uh, Mason had that clutch comeback yesterday. Shout out Jake Moody. So uh, it was a uh, it was a sad Tuesday for her at work. It's brutal. Brutal. 
Any other consequential injuries? Uh, uh, yeah, I was about to go. Yeah. Ishan touched on the big one with Puka. Um, some other in, uh, receivers went down. Jordan Addison, probably not as big of a loss, but uh, the Vikings and Sam Darnold actually looked pretty good. So it did. Uh, we'll see what that what happens there. T. Higgins is still going to be out. Um, I don't know. The Bengals looked like trash. Yep. Um, but I think the other most Im- impactful injuries are the running backs. Ishan said Ken Walker, Raheem Mostert is going to be out this week. It seems like Von Achan is banged up. So uh, what what's that running back for the for the Dolphins? Is it Jalen Wright? Jalen yeah, Wright. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I think Achan is going to play, but somebody else is going to get some run too. My yeah. guy, uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. I picked him up. Before we move on from from this, uh, Addison, I still I still hate Ishan for last year trying to trade Addison like every week. That uh, Jefferson was hurt. Shout out. Shout out to Addison. Every week. He was trying to sell his whole team last week. He didn't like his receivers, him and Tyreek. Really? He didn't sell Tyreek yeah. to everyone once a week. No, I like Tyreek, yeah. but I was like, I like was needed death because I didn't deal with the devil with Jared and I got Pollard. Mm. And, and I was like, oh my God, and I, need, I, need, I need to undo this. And now Pollard's a god right now. Oh, you yeah, mean last Pollard. year? Last year. Yeah, Pollard this season is looking nice, though. Yeah, I do remember that last year. Ishan was trying to trade everyone. Yeah, so uh, I guess, yeah. honestly, for injuries, I can't think of. Is there a season-long one? We haven't had one yet, have we? I don't think so. I've not got any season-ending injuries yet. Who okay. got Jordan Love are the two longest? Yeah, hopefully uh, that continues. No no season-long injuries, please. All right, and then moving on. So for waivers, I guess the, you know, the, the bell of the ball this week was Isaiah Likely. Congrats, mm-hmm. Jared. What do you guys think yeah. about his uh thirty-two dollar thirty-two dollar uh fab on likely? Lie. I think he did it because uh, he doesn't have any one. Yeah, no, and Joku got hurt. Oh, and Joku's mm. the other one. That's the other yeah. one. Yeah, and Joku and Jake Ferguson also went down. And Jake so Ferguson, yeah, big tight end. end is really thin. Yeah. Oh, I know Dunse is gonna be week to week, is what they said. Yeah. But those are, small, that. those are smaller. Yeah. Um, but Joku and Joku was hurt, so that's why he went for thirty two. I think it was I don't know. We'll see. I think he'll be a top ten guy though, honestly. Yeah. He has a potential. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense that Jared went all all in on this. I actually saw a tweet that said um the average fab price for Isaiah likely this week was thirty three dollars. So Jared was oh, wow. kind of right on right on the money with that. Um, which was really surprising to me. And obviously he's tight end one after mm. week one. But um, I still think Mark Andrews is there. I know it was a little bit concerning, but I doubt that they're going to leave him out of the game plan week in and week out. So uh, I'm not sure that likely he's going to be there every week, but he's still going to be a part of the plan. So Yeah, I did see an analysis of that saying they needed to throw because they were down against the Chiefs and they're not going to be down against everyone really. And mm-hmm. then on top of that, they had three new offensive linemen. So Andrews was blocking a bunch. So I guess maybe once they figure out the O-line, and then also arm playing the Chiefs, maybe it'll even out a little bit, maybe. So yeah, right. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. It would, I would like to hope that oh, yeah. it will even out. Yeah, you shot that. Yeah, so that's yeah. <laughs> Shout uh, out to yeah, Shout out to Dangerous. Jack and Ashwin, do you guys think with your bets that you guys are going to win, or did you just kind of just fuck it? If I win, I win, but you didn't really think you would win. Yeah, no, I was. I was not expecting to win, but I was just throwing something down because I felt like it was stupid not to. But um. Again, I'm I'm a little bit lower on likely than it seems like the consensus is. So I didn't want to put too much down. Oh, the bid you said. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bid yeah. 20. And he has McBride. I feel like your opportunity cost or you could probably spend. Exactly. Um, yeah. I guess that was I, kind of where I am too. Yeah, I'm I second mean, place. I was 25. So, yeah. I thought I was maybe going to get him. I mean, Jared is famous for high fat bits. This is a. Uh, Who's a fifty-one dollar? Was it Ty Johnson? Ty Johnson? Ty Johnson. I thought it was fifty-seven or something, or fifty-three. It was in the fifties. Well, something like that. Mason put a hundred on Jerome Ford last year. Hey, that worked. That out. paid off though. That was a good one. Yeah. Speaking of which, he looked good week one too. He did. He did. Yeah. Nick Chubb's lurking. Did. Don't forget. Yeah. Hopefully, he can. He's still alive after this. Oh, I hope so too. My king. Yeah, any other uh, waiver wires that kind of surprise you guys? Any waiver banks? Um, I think I might have. I mean, I put it was pretty surprising. I was probably up to like twelve forty a.m. figuring out my um my waiver wire plugs. Oh, well, you do know that it locks at twelve, right? 
Well, it locks it my ran processes. At, it ran at twelve thirty three. So. Oh, but I thought it locked yeah. at twelve. Oh, so you can do it right up until. Wait, how would you? How are you up at twelve forty then? This is like the LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it was maybe maybe it was like twelve twelve. <laughs> He was oh, going to sleep at twelve forty, so it was a couple minutes. I want to sleep at twelve forty, yeah, so yeah. but I was still able to put in all my waivers. I think I, I was surprised that no one, no one uh, put a bid for ten yeah. bids. Me, I spent around like thirty minutes going back and forth on how much I should put down. I, I, hate, bucks. I hate that shit. When you think people are going to outbid you and you keep raising your bid and you find out no one else bid. No one bid on Yep, That was me last night. So I thought someone else fun. would bid up. That's why they bid. I was like, someone else I think else I made a mistake. I think I accidentally bid on him in the other league and then forgot to bid on him in this league. So I would have bid, but I yeah. wouldn't have bid 11. He would have still won. Yeah, yeah that, that was a good pickup. That was a good pickup. We'll see. Good. We'll see. No, yeah, I think I yeah, he had standalone value. He was running, dude, how many carries? Man, let's look at him. He had like 11 per 70 or 11. something. Yeah, I think but, the snaps he, might have been lower, but he did. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, he looked ETN good. Fumbled, ETN yeah. fumbled the ball, and then they gave more to what's his name, Tank. Yep. In a close game, so we'll see. Twelve for forty-four and a touchdown for Bigsby with three targets and two catches. Or no, for uh, Etn, and then no no catches or targets for uh, Bigsby, but twelve for seventy-three. Way better 73, than both. Yeah. Jag, so, Jags Jags can't trick me. I know their O line's garbage. Jags, they can't trick me. I'm familiar with their game. Can they bring back Lenny? He's still <laughs> technically not retired. <laughs> he's not even that old, actually. I think he's like 29. I mean, that's old yeah. for RBs, but like actual eight years. Yeah. I think he's like 30 something. I, I fucking knew Ishan would snipe me for Jags defense because I always, every bit I do, I always do to the third dollars, so like $3, $13, $23. Cool. You started putting like to the $4. So uh, I use game theory 100%. <laughs> yeah, I knew you. I knew you were gonna do that. Like, I feel like because I've been doing this for years, where I just do three. Because I know everyone's gonna do two. Because you know, like no one no, do one. Because I knew someone's gonna do three, so I do some. So I do four. Wait, yeah. but then you can go five, and then you could just keep going. No, yeah, I, I do five. Not gonna, <laughs> it's not worth it for a defense week two. <laughs> I'm not gonna do five dollars. Oh, oh, I thought you meant in general. Well, I, I did in general, but Andrew, like Andrew, actually, all my defenses were three, but then I was like, I kind of like the Jags a little bit more, so I'm gonna get them you four. Bitch. Yeah, you should you actually you three actually spent a decent amount of you spent yeah, a thousand dollars. Yeah. Should I I spent spend four dollars. Uh, I think. Yeah, I should only spent four. Yeah, but I, I might as well, like very well could be dropping like six feet, nothing happens, but yeah, but that was All right, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I didn't drop any this week. I was kinda sad. Yeah. It was it's interesting, like kinda with our benches and you you won't do see like, who who I do oh my god. <laughs> All right, next, next segment. Next segment. Uh, hold on. Before we move on, seeing <laughs> seeing seeing one time champion Terrence put nine dollars on Alexander Madison in the the, the lower tier twenty twenty four, it just pained me to see. You, to be honest, yeah, but Alexander low key like no, shut up. You don't think, dude? Who has someone has to run the ball? And Zamir might wasn't running. The ball. Uh, I, no, I think they're just gonna be bad. Yeah, oh, they're gonna just be dog yeah. shit. Yeah. But then, when do you want to see bad. On when you won the receiving running back then on the really bad team, you know I what? Know. I drafted Chuba Hubbard this year, thinking that I wanted a piece of that offense, and you know that what that true. feels like. I also have Chuba Hubbard in my other. Remember, I was I was mad at you. I was like, dang, I wanted Chuba Hubbard. As a yeah, well, now you don't want anybody on the fucking uh, yeah. Panthers, and you don't want anybody on the uh, Raiders. Raiders either. And Raiders. I thought you didn't want anybody on the Patriots, and then Ramondre goes off. So, dude, the Patriots are better than who? Who do we just say? Who are those? <laughs> The Raiders, no, and the Panthers, the Raiders, totally Patriots are a top ten team. Top ten team. Jared I mean, Mayo, Sean and I are noted Patriots super fans. Just saying. Of course, of course. And I think we need to stop all this yapping. Let's give a big round of applause to Alex with the waiver wire of the pickup, because we know Luke McCaffrey is the next poop in the Tua. I did someone... see that. I did see. No, some... I'm not. I'm not <laughs> jinxing it. You guys, I'm not jinxing that shit. Dude, if 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 uh, Luke McCaffrey becomes the next poop in the Tua, dude, I would love that. I have I have Daniels and. Two McCaffrey's. That's better than yeah. one. What, what if he becomes Puka by by carrying the ball? What if Daniels? Is, what if he steals rushing TDs from Daniels? Then then that's fine. If that happens, Jets, then jet sweeps, happens. baby. Jet, yeah, sweep. jet sweeps. Hats off to him. That that would be awesome. To watch. Oh, we should be a little too soon to let jet sweep. But yeah, jet sweeps. Yeah, and then uh, I just want to give a shout out to Jordan Mason before we move on. My uh, my guy, Jordan Mason. That's it. All right. And it sounds like nothing really league altering 
on waivers. Of, well. uh, waivers, nothing like a Kyron or nothing. Oh like yeah, that. this was definitely a much very very quiet week or sure. week or week one than last season. You know? Yeah, I, I think you guys are sleeping on one Dale Robinson, twelve oh. targets from Daniel Jones. So that is we'll true. Have to see how this goes. If he had any other quarterback, I'd be in on him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. even if he's even if he's good, like who cares? Because I don't think anyone wants to watch a Giants game. Spy. <laughs> who has uh, Terrence? I mean, Terrence is a, a neighbor. Twelve targets is owner. a lot of targets, though. So Twelve is a lot. Yeah. That's a oh, I mean, Marvin Harrison. Speaking of lower targets than expected, like Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh, right. Really, week one. I've been seeing stats that he like had no separation and was and one it was of the slowest. slowest shit. He was yeah. literally the slowest rookie receiver the this week. The slowest weekend. thing was scary, and I have because I have him in my other league. I hope me that's. Too. I don't know. Do you think he's just like nervous? Yeah, that's what someone was saying was that he might be nervous. He's also yeah, a rookie, but still, I don't, I don't know. That was bad. That was that's bad. not a good look. Yeah, he was wide open. Everyone's seen that clip, right? Where he's yeah, yeah. I have, yeah. So I guess I mean that's a touch, but then I don't know. I I, I definitely say that was a little concerning. I'd be I'm a little concerned. I have a hard time seeing him turning that around after that week one performance. I I think it's going to be a Ooh. slow year for him. Okay, we'll we'll make sure we revisit this. Yeah. yeah, I think I've I read like to pay off his ADP, he needs like fourteen hundred yards or something crazy like that. Yeah, I mean, Maybe I was in on him. Yeah, if he, I'd be completely fine if I just because in my other league I have some depth at receivers, so I just don't start him for a while and then he just turns it on at the end. That's also fine, or like the second half. But yeah, but you draft him to not to do that. So yeah, yeah, but <laughs> he won't pay off the ADP, but per game, maybe he'll pay off per game ADP sure, sure. in the second yeah. half. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, moving on, we got a uh, five minutes left. So we're moving on to the the random guest question of the week, and the you know Jack's our guest this week. So I thought I'd ask Jack, what are your top three favorite guns in Black Ops One? Three favorite guns in Black Ops One. Well, it started off with the AK seventy four U at number one. I mean, yeah, that shit was the, OP as fuck back in the day. Before the patch, I remember that shit was OP. <laughs> November as hell. of twenty eleven or whatever it was, that was OP as shit. <laughs> Black Ops okay. One is the one with uh, the one with Nuketown, right? Yeah, yeah the original Nuketown. The original Nuketown, yeah. All right, what else we got? Number two has got to be the Famas. That's the, the really not game. the Commando, yeah. not the Commando. No, not the Commando. Everybody's riding with the Famas. Yeah, I love that's the Commando. The most powerful. <laughs> yeah, that's that's because you can't shoot. That's why I I couldn't shoot. I was terrible at COD. I was so bad at that. Yeah, number three, Baz. Shotgun. It's Baz. Okay. It's Baz for Nuketown. Interesting. Interesting. Fun little time. That brought back some crazy memories. I didn't remember the, the words Hamas and Spaz until you just no, said No, Hamas, Hamas? Not, not Hamas. Oh, Hamas, yeah. hey, yo. <laughs> Hamas. I heard you say, yeah, from Hamas. Oh, that's why. Right. Okay. Hamas. All right, what, what about secondary? What was your favorite secondary? <laughs> I can't even recall the, the, the C-19. Is the, that the, CZ, the CZ-75 yeah. or something? Yeah. I think yeah, the fully auto one. Or the Magnum, probably. That's what I was rocking most of the time. Were you a big ballistic knife guy? Ballistic knife. Mm-hmm. You gotta do the ballistic knife. Semtex? Nah, I'm not a ballistic knife guy. No, well, not I'm... a Black Ops one. You're frags, frags over Semtex. Tomahawk wasn't a secondary, but just throw a Tomahawk to start the round, you know? Yeah. Gun yeah. game, though. When you're, Gun when game. You're, that's the oh, way to do it. Oh, gun game. Yeah. All right. What about, uh, what's your favorite kill streak? Uh, dogs. Dogs, okay. Mm-hmm. I like attack no, helicopter. RC car, RC car. RC car was fun. That was the introduction of the RC car as well. That was a good. Yeah. Do you guys remember that some, some maps had like the little like Easter egg routes for RC cars that you could like yeah. go through? I thought that was so fun. I was always driving through trying to figure out where I could go. Yeah. Were you? My were mom. you? Sorry, Sean. Continue. So, just back you know, I back off that funny story. My parents didn't let me play. M rated games when Black Ops One came out, so I mean, we, I had we were... a neighbor who who sneaked that in for me. Probably not a good look for him. He's a grown <laughs> adult, but I was able to play it. So um, shout out him. All right. Also, uh, were you, Jack? Were you one of the dudes that would make their their? Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but you know when you get killed, like the little name would flash up below you and have like a design or whatever. Your like emblem is that what you're talking about? Yeah, like your emblem. Were you like one of the people that would make like boobies or penises or some shit? No. No. no, I, I just put like a letter. My gamer tag was pathetic, so I would just put like a P there or some shit like that. Nothing creative. I was not artistic with that. All right, and then just wrapping up real quick, we got two and a half minutes. What was your uh, what three perks would you run? Oh, uh, ninja. Ninja. That's the, that's the quiet footsteps, right? The yeah. you can't be detected or something on the UAV yeah. or whatever. Light of hand. 
Sleight of hand. Gotta have sleight of hand. I can't even remember what the other. It was, it was the orange Goat? one, I think. Or Goat, go Ghost maybe? The... I thought. I can't remember. Oh, is Ghost, you don't show up on the radar? Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Mm, yep. What was the one where you went to the oh, second stand, right? Second stand pro or something? Oh, no. Last Hell stand. No. <laughs> What's that one again? It's where you go, with, like, you don't die, but you're, like, on the ground with a pistol, basically. Oh, and you can, like, yeah, get revived. yeah. They can revive you, yeah. Oh, I was using Lightweight a lot, too. Try to run Oh, around. Lightweight. Scaven you don't know no Scavenger? Not often. I mean, if I was using the dogs and stuff like that, I would be Scavenger. Scavenger, Commando, Silencer. That's the setup. Scavenger and MW2 is OP as fuck, because you could just keep restocking Claymores. Yeah. Claymore. This is big back so many memories, wow. <laughs> We could talk MW2 all day long. Yeah, but unfortunately, Thanks. we're uh, out of time. So, uh, <laughs> so wrap this up. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Jack for coming on. Uh, would you like to provide any closing remarks, Jack? Thanks again for having me. It's going to be a long season, so I'm going to need a lot of luck. Uh, shout out to the viewers out there. Yeah, and then uh, anything from Ishan and Ashwin? Nothing yeah. much. No, go ahead, Ishan. Stay, yeah, stay strong and... Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be a long season and uh always open for trade, so you know my number. All right, thank you everyone. Uh thanks to all the viewers. Thank you, Vishu, for reviewing because I know you review and uh we'll see you guys next week. And Alex. And Alex and, and Terrence. We have viewers. And okay, Terrence. and Terrence and Terrence, sorry. All right, we'll see you guys next week. All right.